Hello everyone, I'm Fu Qilin from Peking University. Today, I'm going to share with you our recent work, a longitude study of removed apps in iOS App Store. This is a joint work with Xuan Zhe from Peking University and Hao Yu Liu from Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunications. Mobile app ecosystem has seen explosive growth in recent years. Millions of mobile apps are available to download in the leading app stores. For example, by the end of 2020, there are over 3 million mobile apps in the Google Play and over 2 million mobile apps in the iOS App Store. Although mobile app ecosystem grows rapidly, app quality remains a major issue across app markets. Low quality apps, potential harmful apps, and even malware are recurrently found in different app markets. These apps not only affect user experience, but pose great threats to mobile users as well. To improve app quality and nip the potential threats in the bud, mobile app markets have released strict developer policies, inspection, and vetting processes before app publishing. For example, Google Play releases a set of developer policies, and iOS App Store publishes a detailed review guideline. Though so mobile app markets have made every effort to maintain a healthy mobile app ecosystem, there still exist a number of challenges in the app vetting process. First, low-quality apps and potential harmful apps are recurrently found in Google Play and iOS App Store. Second, some malicious and fraudulent behavior cannot be explicitly identified during the app vetting process. Previous work have suggested that some apps can behave normally during the app vetting process, while showing malicious behavior once getting in the market. In order to cope with previous challenges, mobile app markets have been removing low-quality and policy violation apps continuously in a reactive manner. Although there exist numbers of removed apps, our research community still lacks the comprehensive understanding of the landscape of policy violation apps and the app maintenance behavior of app markets. Thus, in this paper, we present a large-scale longitude study of removed apps in iOS App Store to comprehensively mirror the overall landscape of removed apps and derive insightful findings which may be beneficial to mobile app market, developers, and mobile users. To be specific, in this paper, we mainly focus on the following three research questions. First, what is the landscape of removed apps? Second, why are apps removed from iOS App Store? Third, can policy violation apps be identified in advance? The dataset we used in this study covers the daily removed apps from iOS App Store for about one and a half year. There are over one million removed apps. We collect three different types of data of removed apps, including app objective information, app subjective quality, and app popularity information. It is worth noting that ISO keywords are the keywords which will return the app as the search result. Based on the dataset introduced before, we first start by answering the first question. What is the landscape of removed apps? We calculate the number of daily removed apps from iOS App Store. On average, there are 2,324 apps removed daily. There will be a peak every 28 and a half days on average. This indicates that app maintenance behaviors in iOS App Store is cyclical. As for the category distribution of daily removed apps, we calculate the proportion of daily removed apps across each category. In general, game, business, lifestyle, utilities, and education account for most removed apps, which is over 50%. This is consistent with the overall distribution of removed apps in each category. However, the proportion of removed apps in some categories are significantly increased on certain days. For example, there is a large-scale app removal in news category on April 6, 2019. We speculate that iOS App Store would focus on certain kinds of apps in a period of time and remove the inappropriate ones intensively. Next, we seek to investigate whether these apps are popular. We define the top 1,500 apps as popular ones. We calculate the proportion of removed popular apps in each category. In general, most removed apps are unpopular ones. Among the popular ones, some categories have a higher proportion of removed popular apps. For example, 40% of removed apps are popular ones in weather category. There are two major reasons to explain this scenario. 
which are small categories and developer fraud. It is worth noting that among removed popular apps, about 25% of them are paid apps. Considering the large download times of these apps, they have caused serious impact to users. We then move on to investigate the developers of removed apps. In total, 420,955 developers contribute to over 1 million different removed mobile apps. We calculate the proportion of removed apps for each developer. Surprisingly, about 73% of developers have all their apps removed. It suggests that some developers have the tendency to release policy violation apps. In order to find out whether the removed apps are dominated by a small number of aggressive developers, we rank developers by the number of their removed apps. It can be observed that top 5% of developers have contributed to over 46% of removed apps. This indicates that removed apps are dominated by a limited number of developers. The app market should raise alarm to the apps released by these aggressive developers. There are four different stages in the life cycle of removed apps, including launch, updates, removal, and relaunch. Here, we focus on launch, updates, and removal. Considering the time interval between updates and removal of apps, in general, most removed apps were not updated for a long time. 38% of removed apps were not updated within 1,000 days before being removed. This indicates that most removed apps are outdated ones, which may not function as intended or meet the current App Store guidelines. As for the interval between launch and removal of apps, it can be observed that the majority of removed apps can sustain in App Store for a long time. Half of removed apps have a lifespan over 1,000 days. Mobile users are exposed to these apps for a long time, which may have caused quite negative effects. So far, we have reviewed the overall landscape of removed apps. We find out that a number of removed apps are popular ones. This observation motivates us to investigate the practical reasons behind the removal of such apps. Thus, we select a subset of removed popular apps for further investigation. In specific, we select the removed apps which are ranked within top 10 for analysis. For comparison, we also select some normal apps which are ranked within top 10. We manually label the removal reasons according to the review guidelines of iOS App Store. We find out that ranking fraud, fake description, and content issues are the main reasons why apps are removed from iOS App Store. Additionally, misbehaviors can be reflected in app review, app description, and ISO keywords. This motivates us to investigate the characteristics of removed apps from these three perspectives. We start by analyzing the behavior patterns of app review. We find out that removed popular apps usually aggressively manipulate app reviews to boost their app ranking. There are far more user reviews and unique reviewers for removed apps. We characterize the behavior patterns of app review from three different perspectives, which are duplicated reviews, high score reviews, and abnormal users. Here, we mainly focus on duplicated reviews and high score reviews. For duplicated review, it can be observed that there exists app ranking fraud in the reviews of the removed apps. 43% of removed apps have more than 20% duplicated reviews compared with 7% of normal apps. For high score reviews, we focus on the 5 star reviews of each app. We find out that over 20% of removed apps have almost 100% 5 star reviews. Considering that these apps are the ones which have some issues, the proportion of 5 star reviews for these apps is expected to be lower. By manually analyzing a large number of such reviews, we find that they are irrelevant or duplicated reviews. This indicates that app reviews in the removed apps are highly suspicious to be manipulated. ISO is the process of improving the visibility of mobile app. ISO keywords refer to the keyword which will return the app as the search result. To analyze the behavior patterns of ISO keywords, we start by giving an example. We choose two different apps and calculate the number of ISO keywords for both of them in the same time period. Taste Status is a gambling app which is removed on October 1st, 2019. Well, iWeekly is a normal app. As is shown, the number of keywords for taste status increased sharply within a short period of time. 
Well, that of I weekly keeps stable. This example indicates that the characteristics of ISO keywords are quite different between normal apps and removed apps. Motivated by the example before, we calculate the standard deviation of the number of keywords for each app. In general, the number of ISO keywords in removed apps changes rapidly. They always increase sharply in a short period. The number of keywords for about 42% of removed apps increases by 1,000 within the week before being removed. This indicates that ISO keywords of the removed apps are highly suspicious to be manipulated. Since there are sufficient keywords for a single app, we are interested in the contents of keywords. It is expected that the contents of keywords are relevant to the app itself. Since the description introduces the main function of an app, the keywords should be covered by the descriptions. Therefore, we investigate the number of keywords covered by description of apps. We find out that description of normal apps covers more ISO keywords compared with removed apps. The result suggests that the removed apps may cover many irrelevant keywords in the process of app search optimization, which aims to boost the app ranking. So far, we have proved that some indicators extracted from app meta information, including app description, app review, and ISO keywords, can be used to identify policy violation apps. This motivates us to design an automated approach to flag suspicious apps that should be removed. We mainly focus on two different tasks, which are identifying policy violation apps based on meta information only and identifying policy violation apps in advance. We first perform a binary classification on the labeled app to predict the apps that should be removed. We extract features from three different perspectives, which reflect the characteristics of app reviews, ISO keywords, and app description. We apply standard machine learning methods for the classification task. We select logistic regression, SVM, KNN, random forest, and GBDT. We use the widely used metrics, including AUC, precision, recall, F1 score, accuracy, and false positive rate as evaluation metrics. As is shown in the table, the models are able to achieve a fair performance considering different evaluation metrics. The results indicate that it is feasible to predict whether an app will be removed from the App Store based on its meta information only. We then try to predict whether the app will be removed from 1 in advance to 16 in advance. As is shown, the overall performance drops slightly along with the increment of time in advance for all models. Nevertheless, the prediction result is still quite good. This indicates that it is feasible to advance the process to identify and remove suspicious policy violation apps. Based on the results of our study, we think that stakeholders in the mobile app ecosystem need to take action in order to maintain a healthy mobile app ecosystem. For app market maintainers, they should pay more attention to the ineffectiveness of market regulation. For app developers, they should be aware of the iOS App Store guidelines to prevent their apps from being removed from the market. For mobile app users, they should pay more attention to even popular apps. At last, I would like to conclude our work. We present a large-scale longitude study of removed apps. In this study, we mainly find out, first, the number of removed apps is surprisingly high. There are over 1 million apps removed from iOS App Store within one and a half year. Second, removed popular apps can be identified proactively without analyzing their app binaries. Characteristics extracted from app meta information can be used to identify policy violation apps. Furthermore, based on the meta information only, we are able to advance the process of policy violation app removal. If you are interested in our findings, you can refer to our paper. Thank you for your attention.